All right. Welcome back, everybody. Well, this one's going to be probably, I don't know, top three, top five. If when you think about like 70s rock, like the rockinest rock of that era, um, this song has got to be up there, right? Even though it's coming from a piano dude, um, Elton John, but just a great piece of guitar work here. So this is Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting by Elton John. And uh, on guitar here is Davy Johnstone. Um, who's rocking out. And this is a super fun song to play. Easy chords. It sounds like open tuning, but it's not. Um, and it's just one of those where you just find a great overdriven rock sound and um, just really go for it. So I'll take you through all those parts here today. All right. So if this is the kind of thing that you like and you haven't done so already, I invite you to jump down and click subscribe and ring the bell. The bell lets you know when I drop new content. Um, which I do every single week. All my lessons have chapters in them, so you can jump right to the part of the lesson that you want to see and bypass what you don't. And if you're looking for other ways to support the channel, I appreciate that. There's thanks, which is like throwing a tip in the tip jar. Or you can join my Patreon page where I've got core charts and tabs for all the lessons that I do on YouTube, just like this one. Links are in the description. Check it out. Okay, so Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting. What a great tune. So early 70s. I think this is off the Goodbye Yellow Brick Road album. And... Um, not exactly sure what uh, guitar Davey uh, Johnstone used. Live, he's using uh, Gibson um, Customs a lot when I see him playing this song, and it sort of sounds like it could be that. I don't exactly have a custom, but uh, I'm going to go with the closest thing I have. Um, but something that's like a Les Polish or an SG, get it on that bridge pickup um and get your uh get your overdrive sound i'm actually running through my guitar rig um on my daw here so um that's the sound i got going on just find a great sort of overdriven distortion sound and just go for it right let's talk about this opening riff it sounds so much like it's keith richards um uh, thing like the open tuning, the open G tuning. It's it's actually not. All of this is in standard tuning, um, and it's great. So this opening riff, <clears throat> the the chord, the, the repeatable shape that we're going to learn here. Let's come up to our twelfth fret. We're going to go straight across. It's in G, and we're going to put our index finger down right on twelve on those on that G triad, and we're going to uh, hammer on. You're going to go one fret up on the B string and two frets up on the G string. And you're just gonna hit those three strings. Right? Slide it down at two frets to do your F. Same thing. And you're gonna come all the way down here to a C um, on your fifth fret, and you can do the same thing. And when you listen to the record, I sort of hear, I hear those two notes. It's sort of debatable whether you're really hearing that. It's sort of like that, that second string is sort of less prominent if he's playing at all. So I just do that. Right? So one more time. Great. So just same repeatable shape in those three places. An alternative way you could do this is to, and to keep it in the same position. First two are the same. Now just slide it up one set of strings and just pick it on the fifth and the fourth string. And that leaves you right here instead of Either way, when I see him live playing it, I see him doing the full thing, but wanted to offer that option. So then we get into our verses and the chords are just, just power bar chords. So on G, F, C. I like to play the C here. I, don't, I can't tell if he's going down there. I don't think it's necessary to move your hand all the way down there. And you 
sort of just layer on those suspended every once in a while as you're moving through the song. Gonna hit a D minor seven. You can do it in two places, right here close to you. If you want to do it there, I see him hitting it down here live, and it is sort of a different tonality because you're using your your fifth string through the first string, and it sounds a little better to me and it cuts through. So I go down there. So coming back. Hit it as many times as you want. Let it ring. Okay. Now the chorus at this point gonna go. The chords are C, B flat, and F. But what Davy plays is just the the uh, straight up rock um, double stop for the C, for the B flat, all the way up here on thirteen for F. And back to C. Right? So it's not a, it's not that. It's just sliding into it. And he breaks that up with a little, right? Just right off of that C. And do it again. And then goes, all right, all right. Right, so this is, this part's a little, a uh, little different than the rest of it. Um, so that all right chord is a G, but he doesn't play it up here. He plays it down here, and he's just playing a straight power chord. He's muting the A, the fifth string, and so the strings that are ringing are the six, four, third, second, and first. Right. All right. And then your chords to get you back are E flat, B flat, again. And then up here, F to C. All right, so it goes. One more time. Let me hit our G up here. And we're going to do D minor 7, F, G in either place. Right here is easiest. Or either way. Or and then you're back into it again, right? So that's all of the sort of uh, verse and that uh, that chorus formation, that's that's all of those. All that's left at this point now is the refrain, the Saturday, Saturday, and it's really, it's so powerful um, and pretty easy. You're just gonna build it off of bar chords and uh, you're, you're gonna do it off of the three chords that we're talking about are C, B flat, and F, okay? So, we're going to do it as your major bar chord shape here on 8th fret. And we're going to flatten our ring finger across the 2nd, 3rd, and... I mean the 4th, uh, 3rd, and 2nd strings. And keep your, keep your index finger all the way across. Don't worry about this first string yet. It can, it can be muted. It's not important to hit. And then your your C chord. So just think of that. I'm sure many of you have done this, 
right? So that's the first one. Second one is down, same shape. I'm just showing you where they are, and then we'll talk about the strum and the picking in a minute. Same thing all the way up here, B flat to F. And back to C. Right? Now the strum is the really cool part. He's, I wouldn't even call it a, a strum. It's like a, a picking. It's, there's a little speed piece in here. I don't know what that's called. Right? You got some palm muting going on. Get the, he the heel of your hand on here. Same thing down here. Up again. Back. All right. This is a cool little. Right. Now on the record, what happens is that repeats again and there's another guitar that's overlaid on top of it that augments that part just a little bit um but um even if you don't have that second guitar you can do this yourself if you're the only guitar player and it sounds super fat anyway so it's the same positions now we're just introducing the first string we're adding the first string and making sure that we're hitting that first string as we're going across with our picking and our strum first one was <laughs> All the way around now we're doing let me clean this up right sort of full power. Woo! Love that. And then you come out of that with a big D minor 7. And back into it again. that for about 10 minutes all right well that was saturday night's all right for fighting the great guitar work of davy johnstone this one is super fun just turn up that distortion and um and lay on those bar chords and those double stops so hope you learned something new today if this is the kind of thing that you like and you haven't done so yet please jump down click subscribe ring the bell the bell will let you know when i drop new content which i do every single week let me know in the comments what you thought about this and if there's another song you want me to take on and do another lesson similar, let me know what that is, okay? But until next week, take care, everybody.